Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft on the island. Uh, me and String uh, a while ago had started a build to make a hot tub that was fully automatic. And basically this is why we have the digital clock in the background. And we just wanted it to be to where we have a potion brew set up so you can sit in the lava hot tub. Uh, you can press the on button on the clock, it'll count down, it'll bring you potions to the lava hot tub, so you can just drink a fire resist potion, sit in there as long as you want. The clock will count down, and when you need a new potion, it'll bring one right to you. So you can just pick it up, drink it, and ha there you go, and there you go. And basically, I'm just going to show you around the setup over here. So the one important rule is do not leave the clock running and unload the chunks because it will break the clock <laughs> and, the, and it is not fun to fix. Let me, hey, hey, look at me in the face, okay? Do not unload the chunks and break the clock, please. Please, everybody, please. Okay, we're back though. And, well, we're going to take a nap. Needs to be daytime. Needs to be day. Okay, so the basic setup over here is I just built this, you know, nice little slick little bar here. And my jump button is not working. So that's that's positive. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> so we have the clock set up as such. Uh, all the wiring is kind of just the basic redstone. We got it functioning, so we, we'd push out some videos. So basically, the clock is off currently when you touch this pressure plate it goes on you can see it counting down over there um, I it, it's normally set to seven minutes but I scooted the time forward a little just to show you the functions that go around here so basically you got your lava uh, you can be sitting in the lava tub with your fire resist potion on and we have this little cart right here that's got a bunch more potions so like we could take one of those guys we'll take off this gear we'll chug a potion you can get right in here. You can be burning up all day, which is nice. I mean, how is this not the best thing ever, right? You just sit in here, duck, look all weird, you're on fire. And you can refill your bottles right here. So you got a water bottle and you just put it back into this chest and that chest goes to over here. So you might, see the bottle come out yep see there's the bottle and they go and store in this chest down here which is basically just a holding tank for this automatic brewer setup if I would just stop being on fire at any time that would be appreciated uh, but it's not gonna happen so the potion bottle sitting there and then we have our ingredients to make more um, fire resist potions so kind of when that clock counts down it sends a signal back here I can kind of show you all right so the clock's counting down how long we got we got two minutes left on that puppy and it'll send a signal down to back to where we were and it'll fire this line right here which will start the automatic brewer and brew those potions automatically and we have <clears throat> a hopper clock over here that will count down the time it takes to brew those potions and then it'll kick them out into this chest. So the only part that isn't totally automatic at this point is when the potions come out over here. We just have to make like a little hopper elevator or some sort of elevator to put the potions into this chest. And then basically you just pot, you, you can just sit in the lava hot tub all day and just get potions bring to you by this little cart. So also when um, that line resets it goes and picks up potions from this basket right there so like if I take these out we'll be able to see when it resets and you can just stick the water bottles in there and it'll refill the system as I said I kind of just have like a basic setup here with more bottles and these are just all the tools that we've been working with over here it's just nothing special just to build the bar told my wife I'm fishing but I'm drinking uh, I put in a little toilet because that's very necessary, very necessary at a bar. And basically, it's just a little bar. And it is fully automatic with this clock right here. So you will see that it's at 25 seconds now. So as soon as that 
um, is done counting, it'll reset the clock to seven minutes, it'll send this cart to get more potions, and it'll brew a new batch at the exact same time. So we will just make sure she is functioning. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And this cart should go, get more potions, and come back. Bam, refill on the potions. And if you come back here, at the exact same time, it's actually brewing more potions. And it'll just output them to this chest. So that's just the last step we gotta do, we haven't done yet, is put these potions into that chest that is up there. So when those guys are done, they'll just brew, and this clock is counting down currently with these items, and when it's done, the potions will be done and they'll be kicked into that chest. So it's pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> like something like this is completely pointless, but totally pointless. I mean, totally purposeful. Cause who, I mean, the whole point of Minecraft is sit in a lava hot tub all day and drink fire resist potions. You know what I'm saying? We still got some time. Burn up, you can burn it down. Chuck gon' burn him down. Chuck gon' burn the cell phone down, yeah. Lava hot tub magic lava hot tub magic and then usually you get over here and I stand on Queen's head for a little bit while I'm on fire because that's that's what normal people do you know do a little couple torques a couple torques swing your arm your own fire great day um this is the greatest project ever so um, if you can beat this project, you go ahead and make a video, and good luck to you, because this is the greatest thing ever. Potions, and fire, and bar. Later, everybody. Oh, one more thing. Um, A-String also, like me and A-String basically built this whole setup. Um, I built that clock, he built the potion brewer setup, and what he did, we kind of worked together on the redstone connecting everything. And he had already made a video and put one up, so I will link to his video. And I will, um, I did make a video when I actually put that clock together that's back there. I will link to that video as well, because that's the basic building of that digital clock, which is not the easiest thing in the world to do. <laughs> Very redstone intensive, as is this whole build, really. But the point in Minecraft is to make everything farmable and functionable to not have to do anything. So you can just log in and stand there. But anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Chucky Poo out. Ali!